we are at this massive monument, the Chronicles of Georgia in Tbilisi, just overlooking the Billy Sea. This is a fantastic monument depicting various aspects. <laughs> the most interesting for us would be, yeah, the yogic symbols of sun and moon and Indian animals, elephant, peacock, lion, all these things put together and uh, one of these people is supposed to have read Mahabharata and deeply influenced by this and wrote some other poetic expression of a similar kind. Above all, traditionally we know that one of the Saptarishis, one of the direct disciples of Adiyogi, came to Central Asia and established many things out here. But a little is left out of that, but there are manifestations of uh, ellipsoid forms or lingas in many parts of this region. Uh, Eastern Europe and Central Asia is full of that. Well, very little of that remains. This is a cultural and religious changes that happen in the history of time. But uh, definitely deeply influenced even now, the people in this region have uh, unexplained longing for a spiritual process, for growth, because the seeking that was instilled in them thousands of years ago in some way still lives and uh, hope their spiritual longings will be fulfilled. It's my wish and my blessing that they must find fulfillment to this. Let's see what we can do about it. Thank you very much. <laughs>